I do not know why the heck I spawned here. But, uh... I'm still confused. There we go. Anyway, everybody, as we start off, this very confusing. In uh, episode, welcome back to Tie the Tasmanian Tiger Three. Last time. We did some slave work. And I don't like it. This time, we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this portal. Because I don't know why you spawned me all the way in Baramanji. This is where we're supposed to be. And, uh. We have more work to do, unfortunately. The heck? I got this. I got a thing. Alright, so there are. There is. There are two missions over. I don't know why that happened. But it's interesting. So there's a mission over there, but I'm not actually going to do that. Well, not just yet, because... Uh... Ow. <laughs> because I want to... Go... This way. And I actually do, and I actually wanted to go here. Not only to break these crates, but to also do the mission that is down here. Because yes, there is a mission down here. And wouldn't you guess it, it's another battle or right now. <laughs> See? Alright, let's talk. What do you think you're doing, Carlos? Mm. I told you he'd come crawling back. I know he couldn't resist a challenge. What are those things? Mm. These are my pharaohs. They're in training. Get a good look, Ty. They'll be watching you. And you may not get another opportunity if you fail my new battle arena. Anyway, so this is the second battle arena, as I said before. So this one is mainly based off of Ty's uh, melee attack. Uh, Ty's own abilities with his rangs and stuff.
So, let's just murder every single one of these. They are annoying. Other jerk. Oh, now I got an MLB notification. So, I will say that there is a speedrun trick to this uh, battle arena mission. And that speedrun trick is use the exploding crates. No, really, that's all you do. It's just use the battle. It's just use the crates in order to. Just use the crates. Well, to your advantage. Or the explode. The exploding ones. I think this is the last stage. Nope, I was wrong. We have these guys next. I think they're Lava Queen or whatever they're called. Unless I'm not mistaken, then that should be it. Too easy. Mm, never you mind, Ty. Every time we are beaten, we learn. And every time we are one step closer to your demise. Well, you're gonna be really smart by the time I'm done with you. Redback gang just called. Turns out they aren't kids after all. <laughs> Anyways, they want to challenge you to a demolition derby. Sounds like a waste of time to me. If you beat them, I wonder if they'll become the Red Face Gang. <laughs> Red Face gang. <laughs> wow. You suck. Um. I'm not sure why they actually showed the boomerang that they did in the uh, Tai 2 and Tai 1. But they did. Anyway, let's just head on over. God, I have to make you head. Unfortunately, if you are jumping, then uh, it's just a straight path over to where you're supposed to go, but... Um, it should be easy. Now, this next mission... <laughs> It's the second and final Demolition Derby mission. And it sucks. See, I told you he'd come. Will, will, will. Lucky so far, Ty. Let's see how we go against the Redbacks in our Demolition Derby, Derby, Derby. You're on.
I do not like this course with the demolition derby. I had easier time with the. Uh... So normally, if this was a normal race, I would have taken that grind rail. However, since this isn't a race, however, since this isn't a race. Um, I don't. I don't take grind rails for demolition derbies. It may be sad, but it's true. Wow, two items. Wow, I can. I did not get a single item that race for that lap. Also, there's Rex, and... See you at the finish line. And, uh, you may notice that someone is stuck. That is... Accurate. Kinda accurate. Oh, now he's free. But yeah, there's a big tree, and it's horrible. If you miss it once, then you're done. How did that not hit anyone? That's just... Let's see how many I can kill with this. One. Just one? That... Sucks. Ow. That might have been a flame. How is... Threatback Thorn not taking any damage? While the rest of us... Have. Well, the rest of us have. Makes no sense. Okay, that's four. Bye bye, Ty. Just three more. Okay, that's five. How the heck did that one miss? I got like a minute left in order to do this. Minute to cause damage. Well, that time I actually took the rail because A, I wanted to B, it gets me here quicker. Hey, you do not get. Your privileges of living have been revoked. Get back here. Oh, that sucks. Whoops. I know I paid Opals in order to do that. Okay, wait a bit. Alright, now we go. I usually... 
I usually wait like five seconds or something. Wow! Jack. Or whatever his name is. Trike? Well, he's stuck. Yeah, if you get hit into the tree. It just spells bad day for you. Cause you because once you get stuck there, you really are stuck. There, I freed you. Thank me. Freed you from your ice prison. Wait, who's in first? Where well, it has the purple banner, I think. Yep. Need a hand tie? Oh. Back, Jackie. <laughs> I thought it usually goes for the person in first place. I guess not in this case. Oh, crap. One more hit and I'm gone. And only three are dead. Only three are dead. As soon as I get an item here, I'm going to hit the break. You know, this is a race, mate. Well, that's four. Now it's just one on one death match between me and Jack. Whoever gets hit first wins. Yes! Oh, it's Russ. Whoops. Red back Jack! What do you think you were doing oh, out That's there? Jack. Guys, it was just a bit of fun. Hey, this is between us and Belvedere. Belvedere? <laughs> anyway, we get another Earth Stone for that. What are you doing? I told you to go and find my dropship. Get moving, and don't accidentally fall into a volcano. Yeah, let's do it. So I think this is so I think this part is supposed to be like Wabigon Bay. And not just because and not just because it has swimming. Um, and then let's head over here, and then we're going to, well first, let's grab this picture frame. There's a building up there! Yeah. Bilby! 
There you go. We start the Kakaboom Island. This is by far my favorite place in the entire game. Dangerous, Dennis. Oh, don't worry about little old me, Ty. I never go for a stroll without my bazooka. He just carries a bazooka everywhere. I love it. Anyway, this is Kakaboom Island. Uh, you find out why it's named Kakaboom Island shortly. And yes, Dennis has a bazooka. Why he has a bazooka, I don't know. But I'm actually gonna go over here and grab this. Whoops. Grab a goo-boo berry. And I think there's also something else back here, too. Yep, there's the Steve. You know what? Let's get him. Banana, 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 banana. I'm writing a song. It's about a banana. Oh no! I've forgotten how it goes. Uh, I think it was about me. And it went Goo Goo Steve, Goo Goo Steve, Goo 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 Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> Silly little banana. So that happened. No, there's no way we're getting past that. Oh yeah, I'll turn that landslide into a landslide victory for bush rescue. But first, fire from the rocket. Yeah, there's an invisible wall there. You cannot. And just like that, we... Get the... There. Now, if we dive down here... We get a Chromium Orb. And yes, Dennis is power crazy. Speaking of power crazy, he just jumps off the edge. And now we are by ourselves. And that right there, that is the volcano of Kakaboom Island. Now I have some interesting jumps to do. There's a picture frame there, and there's a picture frame over here that we can get. And prepare for something extremely cool.
Yes, that's Dennis. Now, I'm just gonna wait up here. There it is! Where? Where? I'll take him down! Dennis, no! We were supposed to retrieve the device, not blow it up! Oh, yes! Silly me! <laughs> I can get a little bit excited. But how are you going to get it? It's underwater. I guess I'm going for a swim. Right, on. There's the drop ship. And this is the boss. I think it's supposed to be like a giant hermit crab or something. And it's dead. Couldn't have kept my mouth shut for that long. I'll get it delivered to Cass for you. Thanks, but be careful with that. We don't know what it is. Crew can have attacked Cass's power grid again. This time at the reactor cores. I think this is just the opportunity we need to take out Cass for good. Oh, never mind. Could you and Sly go and sort out the cores for me? Sure, but. We've already wasted, like, a few minutes on this mission. We already wasted a few minutes on this video, or the last mission. So. We'll have to do that next time. So, next time on Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 3. We'll be starting up the reactors. We're starting up the reactors again, because... Apparently, Cass can't do it himself. Uh, and I'll see you guys as soon as I get this bilby. <laughs> anyway, see you guys then.